Hi, I'm Katie Ziskins. I'm the practice owner of Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic. If you have a child who's getting sent to the principal all the time for bad behavior, we can help implement a plan for good behavior at home and at school. In addition, if you have a teen daughter who's struggling with an eating disorder, we can help teach her self-confidence skills and positive coping skills for releasing feelings in healthy ways. Read about us at wisdomwithinct.com. In this video, I wanted to give you a couple quick tips for self-care that you can implement right away. Tip number one is daily exercise or yoga. This isn't just going for a short stroll. This is 30 minutes of getting your heart rate elevated. So go for a jog outside or take a local yoga class at Zen and Now in East Lyme or Jewel Yoga in East Haddam. Yoga is a great way to connect to your breath, lower anxiety, and is a holistic skill for lifelong wellness in mind, body, and spirit. Tip number two for practicing self-care is to make sure that you're eating balanced meals throughout the day. Don't skip your breakfast and go for coffee and only eat at 3 p.m. That's a recipe for burnout, exhaustion, and resentment. You won't be very nice to your loved ones and you'll probably have a huge meal for dinner which won't leave you feeling balanced. Instead, start with a great breakfast with 20 grams of protein, some fiber such as from wheat berries, rye berries, or amaranth, and you know some healthy um, fats. So an avocado, some olives, even an egg yolk. There are tons of great options for healthy eating and balanced sustainable meals that will give you lasting energy through the day. If you need help with food and mood, we offer nutrition counseling that ties in food issues, emotional eating, with helping you create the life you've always wanted around a healthy relationship with food. Last but not least, tip number three for practicing self-care is a focus on positive, meaningful relationships. If you're in a relationship, a friendship with um, a friend, with a mom, with anyone that's draining, that leaves you feeling manipulated, if you're experiencing gaslighting, which is a form of verbal abuse, start to separate from these people. Set some healthy boundaries, know when to say no, and don't overcommit yourself. Learn to value your time, and if someone is taking advantage of you, let them go so that you'll have space for positive friendships to enter your life. If you want help practicing self-care, connecting to your strong and healthy sense of self, or learning positive coping skills, you can call or text 860-451-9364. You can read all about what we do in terms of holistic therapy, supporting a positive sense of self, and overall helping you get through any tough life experience or any feeling by using art, yoga, music, and animal therapies by visiting wisdomwithinct.com. I'm Katie Ziskind, the practice manager and owner of Wisdom Within Counseling in Niantic, where we help you make positive lifestyle changes so you can feel your best and see the bright side to life. We specialize with anxious children, depressed teenagers, and distant couples. Have a great day.